to the library. Um, study with Minnie or study alone? Minnie, you've had time to recuperate. That's true. Give us double points. Minnie helps me out with my red magic. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah. Ah, uh, Minnie, where were you the rest of the year? <laughs> you know, right? Oh. Maybe they're just helping you ramp up your magic now. Maybe. Man, we're getting really smart. Look at that. 37. I feel so smart. If only I were cuter. Uh, blue, red, white. Yeah, white does need to catch up. Uh, oh, we need to sleep. We're going to need to sleep anyway. Yeah. I might as well just do that now, since it's already at 25. Should we sleep the last day or the... the... I say the first day. Oh, just cause... straight up sleep in case it messes up our study? Yeah, because it's only going to take like one more class for that hit 30. Maybe two. Study or magic? Uh, I actually say double up on white magic, because it's the lowest yeah. of them all. Yeah, let's do that. Dog. Sleeping reduces stress. Dun, 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 dun. Now we're all fresh for the week. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> the Valentine's Day order booths oh. are set up around the quad with two tables for each class manned by student officers. Minnie and Ellen are in charge of the freshman class sales. Valentine deliveries are $5 each and include a card and either a bit of candy or a trinket for those poor souls allergic to chocolate or something. Hmm. Minnie has apparently drafted Jacob to provide some extra help for her table. I guess it's a lot of work to organize. You know... Buy something for Ellen I was just choose the trinket. Well, no, no. I, I was just thinking, uh... After the whole Damien scene, we didn't actually talk to our roommates about it. Well, he didn't want you talking about him no, at he, all. No, he didn't want us talking to him. But I mean, like, they didn't notice we were upset or anything and didn't ask. Yeah. So I guess... I mean, it's not... It's not like it's not a conceivable thing that could happen. Because, you know, well, you could keep it to yourself and, like, you know, well, whatever. not only that, but, like, Damien might have taken it harder, but, like, your character just wanted to be friends, and all of a sudden he's like, let's, let's date. Date. Like, <laughs> like yeah. zoom in on his mouth, and the words are all like, date. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and your character's like, like, but I don't want to. So when it's he like, flips out and leaves, he's like, but I, I'm not heartbroken. <laughs> your character's <laughs> like... Views of anything. Your, your character's like, you're creepy, mister. <laughs> um, uh, there are so many people swirling around, it's impossible to keep track of who's where and doing what. I wonder if anyone's buying a valentine for me. Order a valentine. Totally. <laughs> for yourself. <That's... laughs> for, for Professor Grabner. <laughs> Uh, save it. Save it. I want to see some of that. You're like, Grabner. anytime I have the option to do that, I have to. <laughs> yes. uh, that did save, right? Yes. Yeah, that's it. All right. Uh, let's do your option. Professor Grabner. Uh, let's do friendly. Yeah, we don't want to go too extreme on it. Yeah. And he won't find you or anything. Okay. I'll write that down. Oh, shit. Oh, we can do more, it just costs more money. Oh. Well, shit. Well, throw all kinds of stuff. <laughs> Let's write myself one. <laughs> nice. Alright. Uh, wait, what about Ellen? Oh, I was just gonna load. I didn't want to waste all my money. Okay. Hello, my brother's new face. Well, this will probably pop up. Yeah, I, I figured if we were doing it now, like all the other choices were, it might actually resolve today. Okay. So, uh, continue. Hello, my rose, uh, rosy faced lovebirds. Please take your seats before we go through class today. There is something important we need to discuss. For many people, this is a sensitive subject. However, you're all young adults now, not children. And it's better for us to have this out in the open. I'm getting they deja vu. Cheat. I'm getting they deja vu again from that day where it's like, is this sex education? Yes. The condom machine is now installed. <laughs> yep. <laughs> this will just be like a continuing joke. We'll never actually have that talk in class. But, uh... 
but I'll, my character's always like, it couldn't be sex education. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. Dun, dun. <laughs> yeah. Uh. This is the tradition, a traditional season for young romance. We don't want to clip your wings. There are no school rules against love if, in any form. Yeah, why couldn't it be like, Damon, I'm a lesbian? <laughs> it should be like, you'd be like, well, this is awkward. It's like, oh, well, that's, that's okay, because I'm a girl too. Well, you're just a selfish coward. <laughs> oh. oh, I guess it is, sort of. <laughs> as long as you and the other person are people. Oh, God. Ah. <laughs> See, they, they, uh, they're like, you can have open relationships. We're a progressive school. <laughs> um, many people would argue with that. <laughs> that you are with are enthusiastic about whatever you're doing. We will not interfere. Just you know, don't tell Mr. Grabner. As long as everything's not secret and it's all consensual to all parties, I don't see any reason to complain about anything. And you record it and you give me a copy. <laughs> But keep any naughty business out of areas where those who have not consented might accidentally see you and try not to get too distracted from your school. They're like, look, we know people bone in high school. <laughs> Don't do it in the hallways. Please. <laughs> this is magic school, not orgasm school. This is not a head tie. It's like, do it somewhere private. I don't want to walk in. Don't do it in my classrooms. <laughs> if I walk in and have to clean up stuff off my desk, I'm going to be very pissed. You'll all have detention. Yeah. Do you see tentacles? Then do it somewhere else. Uh, you know I... what you want, and you and be sure everyone else does too. If anyone isn't enthusiastic, whether it's a kiss or a dance or something else, stop and wait. Yeah, Damien. Now... There's one other matter I would require punishment. As students, you are not allowed to carry children. Breaking this rule will result in an equal punishment of all parties concerned. And we will know who you are. Don't go around stealing babies, Ellen. How many times have I, have to told, have I had to tell you? But I'm so lonely. It was just lying there, completely unattended. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> the mother was screaming for her daughter back as you were running. <laughs> trusting your parents... Uh, partner, sorry. Trusting your partner is an important part of romance. But in this case, take your own precautions as well. If you don't think your green magic is up to the task, or you don't have any further questions, please come talk to me after class. Oh shit, she's teaching people how to use magical contraceptives. Wait, wait, wait. The way I read that was green magic abortions. It could be a preventative magic to be like, I'm not fertile right now. Uh, I was thinking like after you're like, oh hey, I'm pregnant. Abortion magic. Well, it could uh, be that too. That, uh, I don't know, that, that just makes me uneasy. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Let's get back to magic. Success. Come on, Valentine's. Transfer charm. Move an enchantment from one object to another. I guess I could have made something else explode. <laughs> you could have made the door explode. That would have been awesome. <laughs> I have to say. Yes. Or I would have made that illusion explode. Ah, Friday morning. Valentine's are today. Okay, we're not going to skip that much then. Ellen sent me a card and a box of candy hearts with silly Valentine sayings on Oh. My secret admirer sent me exactly what I wanted. That is exactly what I sent myself. Excellent. I'll have to wait until later to see how the other Valentines turned out. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Ah! I crossed paths with Professor Grabner in, the, in a hallway. If you expect some manner of favor, you will be disappointed. I was just being polite, sir. Walks <laughs> away. At least he wasn't mad at me. All right. Well, I'm guessing was... we would have got more of a reaction out of him if it had been romantic. No, because, because to be honest, I looked at the wiki real quick. He we spoiled it. Him... Yeah, 
we, we sent him the right one. Ah. Because apparently, because apparently we sent him the other ones, he doesn't like them as much. Does he? Do you get in trouble? I don't know. But we sent him the right one if we were doing a thing with him. Well, yeah, because you know, flirting on him out of nowhere after we made nothing but bad impressions, you know. <laughs> but but you thought of him during Christmas. But he wasn't thinking of us. 